Here's a quick update on Project Centurion. Now this LED looks like it's flashing but it's actually steady. Uh, it's the camera frame rate that's, that's doing that but it's actually on steady. And uh, first of all the most important thing, it's met one of its goals of using the least current as I can from this 1.5 volt AA and that is apparently nothing. Now uh, if I, uh, I'll show you what I mean. If I disconnect the negative, see the light there, no change. Plug it back in. There we are. Disconnect. Plug back in. Absolutely no change. Zero reading. And just to show that it is actually, <laughs> the meter is connected in with the circuit, if I take the positive here and connect to the negative quickly, you'll see the meter jumps over. So I'll plug back in again. As you can see, absolutely no change in the meter. The transmitter coil is 24 turns plus 24 turns, and the receiver coil is 24 turns. I've taken out the uh, the base resistor that was in the circuit, so we've just got uh, the other one coming from the coil lead of the 1 mega ohm resistor and the 223 ceramic capacitor. And uh, there's a circuit diagram again. So take out this 7.1k and this coil is 24 plus 24. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, you can see the lights on now. It's not very bright, but it's, it's definitely on. And guess what the power source is? That is a garden lights solar panel upside down on the table. And it's running it. Get this. Put a super glue bottle on the top, further stopping any light. It's still going. Hey, in fact, we've got the induction range. Yeah, we have. There's a bit of induction range there as well. So, <laughs> very pleased with that. Okay, thanks for watching.